Hi Sophia, we've done video analysis of your backhand before mm -hmm. and you also chose to add analysis of your forehand and your serve. We'll take a look at your serve later but here we're looking at your forehand and this is before working with your forehand. A couple of things about it, you see a very high backswing, the unit turn, the bracket hand comes up high. about this height of your lid of your cap or above your ear so that racket tip goes uh, a foot or more than a foot above your head and it becomes a very loopy swing. Here we see you in slow motion at 240 frames per second which is eight times slower than regular speed. Here again we see the big backswing your hand is pretty high here above the ear and it's a very large loop which allows you to get pretty good topspin. We see it again here. Now one of the things we wanted to do was shorten that backswing, make it a little more compact, a little more offensive and flatter. And what that also entitled not only changing the backswing but also changing what we call the slot. The slot is when the racket butt is pointing towards the net and your hand is going forward, not the backswing. So at the end of the backswing when the hand goes forward. Here we see you afterwards. You can see right away there the shorter backswing. Your hand's a little lower. It allows a flatter trajectory. And where you have to get some of your power is through the slot, pulling through with the hips and the pre stretch on the forearm. So we had that little stretch on the forearm and to get into that slot position. It's definitely a lot flatter. Uh, one thing that you did creep into your stroke here. We'll play it in slow motion, uh, but you can see it's definitely a lot flatter, so that's a good sign. Here we are in slow motion, 240 frames a second, which is eight times slower, and you can see the back swing is lower there to take away, but your racket comes a little further back, so we want to reduce that still. So we don't want the racket going back behind you. We want that back swing still a little shorter, much more compact and you want to feel that pre-stretch from your wrist to your elbow and your forearm as you pull forward with the hips. So it's the hip turn right there, you fire from the hips and then that racket comes through. But that racket comes back a little far back and we're going to take a look at it again. And here we see the before and after in slow motion. Here we take a look at it again. You can see the bigger backswing before and right there, I don't know if you noticed that the backswing was uh, a little bigger on the after, where how far it comes back behind, almost parallel to the baseline. We're going to break it down here and stop it at the height of the backswing right there. And you can see on the left it is much higher. So that's a good sign that you reduced it on the right afterwards. So it makes it a little more compact. Now, the other thing too, we'll see, take a look right at the back of the backswing. We'll see though, on the right, your racket's a little too far back. It is almost parallel to the baseline. You want to keep, keep the left. So that was one thing that was good, what you did before. So you have to shorten that. Here we do see something though, the slot position and the pre-stretch, which on the after, on the right, you're keeping it a lot longer. You're, you're able to get longer through that ball. Now we're going to compare you to uh, a couple of touring pros and this is Novak Djokovic. And you can see your back swing is a little early but you can see his back swing is a little more compact. His, it, it's, you can see he, he keeps it in the slot position so it's almost parallel to the ball path as you go almost parallel to the baseline right there. So you want to shorten it up. And we're also going to compare you with Anna Ivanovic. She doesn't do her pre-stretch as well, or the slot position, but she does a lot of other things extremely well com compared to Novak Djokovic. So we see a nice loop there. You can see the pulling right there. So good luck with it. Definitely shorten the backswing a little more and get that pre-stretch. Thank you for coming.